much. There has been a lot of talk about alligators since we aired our story yesterday, and we know they live here in South Carolina, even in the Midlands. As we learned yesterday about a gator sighting that was living in a pond in Lexington County. So it's important to be informed about gators, their behavior, and what you are supposed to do with yourself and your pets and your young children if you see one. News 19's Rachel Ripp spoke to some gator experts today. She joins us now from that pond in Springdale where one was seen. I want to make sure someone's looking out behind you, Rachel, while you tell us about this live. Yes, exactly, Andrea. You could call me the gator expert. I've been out here today and yesterday, and I've seen this gator pop up a few times. He seems to be pretty mellow. I've seen him kind of swimming over in the water over here and sticking his head up and then moving on to another direction, as well as over on the dam over there, and he'll be out there sunning and then slip back into the water. Now, according to the Department of Natural Resources, this gator, as he's commonly known as Frank, he's not posing as a threat. Gators are out and about for breeding season, moving around a lot. That's according to experts. And while they can be seen here in the Midlands, they're not nearly as common as in the coastal regions. For example, according to DNR, they got calls from Lexington and Richland counties, totaling 21 last year, compared to nearly 250 in Charleston County. Down towards Santee, um, Sumter area, Manning, we get a lot more calls. Um, we will get calls of just people walking, you know, some of these nature trails over in Casey and West Columbia. These reptiles like to be near a water source, a swamp or a river. If this was a swimming hole, an active swimming hole, it would be different, but obviously there's a bunch of overgrown grass and stuff, so it's just adequate environment for any types of wildlife. You have herons, you have turtles, a lot of food source here. In this scenario in Springdale, Frank, as he's commonly known, is not bothering anyone. Experts say a gator would pose a higher threat if it was hissing or approaching people, but it's still good to practice caution. Don't let your dog, your smaller animals, go out swimming in the water. Um, don't let little kids go out there kicking their feet around in the water. Both DNR and other alligator control agents would only remove a gator if this threat was there. Not all alligators are aggressive. They're just doing their thing and moving on. They're curious, they'll get curious. If you're fishing and you have a stringer full of fish and you have it tied off and the fish are there, of course they're gonna come because that's their food source. Now, according to experts, alligators do most of their hunting at night, and they like to eat turtles. And since I've been out here, I've actually seen quite a few turtles, so it makes sense why this alligator is out here. Now, if it is a hazard, if you're seeing this alligator somewhere near maybe a swimming pool or near your car, the first thing you need to do is call DNR immediately. Reporting live in Springdale, Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX.